Episode 9 of Onimai just had so much warmth. Hats off to Studio Bind for nailing yet another fantastically animated and styled episode of Onimai. I, the thing that was kind of running through my head throughout the entire episode was, yes, there's like these moments of like, holy crap, that's a lot of animation. Like, you put way too much animation to this shot. Specifically, the one that keeps sticking in my head is the selfie shot when Mahiro has the cell phone and Mihari keeps jumping into the shot. It was like, God, that looks so good. Like, not only are you animating a hand with a phone in it, but you also have the perspective shot of the selfie itself and pretty much the sister pushing into the frame shot over and over again. It was just, dang, it's so good. And like I said, the the styling and the warmth in the episode itself was just so good. Like, despite the fact that I'm outside, it's Christmas, and they're, it's obviously really, really cold, it just has so much warmth. The shots, the the visuals, the the coloring and everything they chose for it, was so dang good. And the whole shot where Mihari gives the, the scarf to Mahiro, it was just, mm, it was, it, they nailed it. Like, it was so, so good. Like, such a, again, a very warm and very cozy episode that I absolutely loved. It's, it's probably gonna go down as one of my favorite uh, Christmas, New Year's episode, because pretty much every show has one. <laughs> every single story has a New Year's and Christmas episode. And I think this is one of those ones that I'd love to watch over and over again, just so good. And the outfits, like, across the board, all the outfits were super good. Like, Makito's little kind of little uh, Santa Claus cloak thing was super cute. Uh, Momiji getting a cute little outfit. Makito apparently has some good style. He probably gets it from his sister dressing him up all the time. But And then the, yes, the Chuni. Uh, Momiji has awakened to becoming a Chuni. <laughs> I don't know if this is a thing they're going to keep going with, but, like, multiple times this episode, just out of nowhere, Momiji is become Chuni. So, <laughs> she has awakened. She's in that phase. As as Mahiro puts it, oh, you're having one of those phases. All right. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun with it. But, yeah, the kimonos and everything, just, mm, it was just, it was really, really, really good. Jumping ahead here, uh, but, yes, Andrew's detective agency uh, looking at the uncensored version of the episode. We did have one shot. It's pretty obvious. I think most people's gonna guess exactly when it happens. But yes, the opening scene where Mahiro is going to leave and Momiji's like, wait, we, we have to continue to watch him. There's there's other things that can happen. And it was a shot of Mihari and Kaede on top of each other that was completely whited out by the global version, which is unfortunate. Um, if you join our Discord, I have the image uh, there if you want to check it out. But uh, it was... Chef's kiss, uh, I, I ship it. And we <laughs> it was not only the fact that we got that shot of the two of them on top of each other, but having the later shot where Mihari is on top of Kaede and giving a big smooch. There's a lot of, lot of Yuri in this episode that was very super spicy. I mean, the fact that Momiji was wanting to go on a date with Mahiro, obvious Yuri there. And yes, we seem to have an awakening of Mihari and her feelings for Kaede is the fact that she jumps on top of him. Not only, I, I guess technically Mihari is both ways. I mean, she's super into Mahiro, obviously. She's a massive brocon at this point we've pretty much established, but at the same time, it seems like she's into Kaede, so I'm for it. I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, really good. Really good. Overall, episode was great. The whole double date aspect of it that was kind of created through <laughs> Mihari kind of faking out Mahiro. I mean, she could have, she should have known that it was going to cause him to follow her. I mean, it's your big brother. If you say that you're going to go out on a date, he's obviously going to follow. Kaede's outfit was fantastic, though. Uh, again, doing a little dress-up segment with Momiji was super cute as well. Loved her outfit. I love that at some point she's like, well, how about this coat right here? And he's like, no, that, that completely... De she's like, I want something less feminine. He's like, that completely defeats the point. But like I said, the, the whole Chuni outfit that she had was, was super good as well. But no, that's when it kind of opens up into that whole segment that, again, like I said earlier, is just so well put together. Just the, the selfie shots were really well put together. The animation on it, the perspective shot of the phone itself, the animation within the perspective shot itself was really fantastically done. And it was probably like super composed. Like they animated the actual selfie and then they, they composed, they put it in like some sort of green screen or something like that to apply it to the phone itself. But it looked really, really good. And like I said, the animation within that small frame was really well done. And then all these shots of them going throughout the entire town, going to the tree and everything. And it was so great because it kind of bookends it at the very end with a really fantastic shot because it's them going out and doing all this stuff. And per usual, Mahiro, he's reluctant at first, but then as he's kind of having fun with everybody and they're exploring all this stuff, eventually you have that shot where he goes to take a snapshot of the tree, 
sees Kaede out in front of him, brings it down, and then he switches it to the selfie view, and then he smiles. It's like that little bookend of, this made him happy. Coming here and doing all this with everybody made him so happy. It was just, like I said, a really great way to bookend that. Of course, the bookend really is more the fact that Mihari was going to get him a scarf and was super cute, little warm little scene of the two of them. And then, and then again, another bookend of the bookend of that is the fact that Momiji has a matching one. So the two of you can match. Super cute. I absolutely love this whole segment. Like I said, just it was so warm. It, the, the entire thing was just so, so warm and so well portrayed. Again, massive credits to Studio Bind and how they put together this whole segment. But no, that wasn't it because then they have New Year's happen. They have to put kimonos on. Once again, I I think this is the only thing that really frustrates me about it's even in the Magaka too. The, in the original manga, this is the case as well. It's just like every time you have one of these little dress up segments, they don't ever include Mihari. I mean, they did for the swimsuit thing, but not for the outfits and then not for this. They always like make it some additional art later on. Like in this episode, at the very end, you can finally see Mihari in a kimono. But for the rest of the entire episode, it's like everybody else is dressed up except for Mihari. Well, Asahi wasn't dressed up either. She was in some goofy outfit, but it's it's a little bit of a letdown. But no, Mahiro looked absolutely adorable. Momiji's gonna be Momiji, unfortunately. She's, she's gonna be Momiji. Kaede looked fantastic. Mio even looked fantastic. I loved Mio's outfit. But now I was kind of hoping they would reveal what the wish ended up being because they each went to the, the shrine and they each kind of give their wishes and, you know, it's let us be together for more. But Mahiro, they didn't really reveal what his wish was. My my assumption at this point in the story is more the idea that he does want to continue on to have this change that's happening. Like he is enjoying things. You can assume that the joke punchline would be that he's wishing to have his unit back, which would probably possibly play into future stuff. But again, I would I would kind of hope that it would be something in the regards that he does kind of like how things are going. He is enjoying his time and that he would want it to continue that way. I'll get into my theories later on, but it's going to be possibly a slight spoiler segment. I almost forgot. That. I love the fact that when he first arrives at the shrine, Mihari says, I have three incentives that I, I put together for you. And immediately when Kaede shows up, he's like, there's my incentive. There's my incentive. My thing that I wanted is here is Kaede. And then, yes, afterwards, they go and eat together. And this is where all the spicy good stuff is. <laughs> As they're all eating, and then eventually they bring out the Amazake. And, of course, it has no alcohol in it. it the alcohol has been burnt out. But, of course, Mihari sips it and is just gone. <laughs> and immediately jumps onto Mahiro and says, Onichan. It's like, oh no, the cat's out of the bag. We have officially revealed to everybody, but no, it's just Kaede's like, oh, come on. It's not your brother. Come over here. And then immediately Mihari jumps onto Kaede. So good. I don't think anybody was upset about that scene. <laughs> it's a great punchline and then following it up with some great Yuri action, which nobody's going to be upset about. Even Mio, I wasn't too upset about because she was in trance like it. Everybody else was. I honestly thought this was another uh, censorship scene right here because the moment that... Mihari looks over to Mio and then goes to jump on her. It cuts like a really goofy, like little s rotating shot of Mahiro. And I, I just, and it had so much background noise that I was assuming that this is probably something that was cut. Like she jumps on Mio and starts rubbing into her or something like that. But the Atex version is the same here, so it's not the case. But now that pretty much wraps up with, yes, Mihari trying to figure out what Mahiro's wishes was. But I also Kaede establishing something that I think everybody agrees with. <laughs> Mihari, unless you're in the privacy of your own home and there's nobody else around that you can possibly jump on, stay away from the alcohol. <laughs> this is a girl that should not be going to work parties and stuff and get drunk, that's for dang sure. But again, like I said, fantastic episode. Hats off to Bind. Great animation, great style, great warmth in the episode. It just such good feels. And it just, I'm super unfortunate because I've, Obviously been kind of monitoring a little bit with what's kind of getting high memberships and stuff on certain sites. And it's really unfortunate that Onimai is as low as it is. But it's to be expected. The mass public of anime fans just don't like watching cute girls doing cute things. Slash slice of life. Slash comedy. Slash slightly questionable shows. They just want to watch their shonens. But it's great. Um... But that's my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go down in the comments down below. Let me know. Hit the like button, all that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I do want to get into some slight spoilers because I have read a little bit ahead. I always kind of sneak peek a couple chapters. 
So I'll be curious, honestly, and again, this is soft spoilers for what's coming up ahead with possibly the next episode. They could skip it. But um, obviously the biggest concern that I've had with the series, that they skipped the onsen scene. And for those who don't know, there's a big, very important thing in the storyline and for the characters and their choices that was in that onsen scene. And so I was really disappointed they didn't have that. And it looks like they might possibly do it again with the next chapter. So I'm kind of excited about what might come up. And I think that might, again, like I was sort of hinting at earlier, might play into that whole, what did Mahito wish for? The idea of going back or continuing on. And I think hopefully, not to get too detailed, that could come up in this next episode. And I think that could lead us into some sort of climax for a goofy comedy cutesy show. Uh, Some sort of climax, which would be the big debate of would he want to continue to be what he is? Which is, again, a, the obvious big question mark with the series. And I think that's hopefully going to be what they get into with the conclusion of it, because that is the core story focus. But we'll have to see. I hope they don't skip it again, because it's super great. And it has something similar happen in the uh, onsen scene as they're going to have happen with that one. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. It, it all depends on if they have Mahiro get sick again. That's the telling point. But we'll see. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Again, make sure to comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you get all my content. I do news, reviews, first impressions, top list if it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you like my content and you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon link, tips link, super thanks, and membership button down below. Greatly appreciate everybody that considers. Now, take care.